EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, NCAA Football 10 fans? Eric Gray back here for another tip in Online Dynasty. And this time, it's recruiting and the recruit call. So let's head into the recruit board. Before I start my call with this free safety, I will right stick in to see where I'm at on the list. Am I number one on his board? This will tell me how hard I need to go after him. And this is the same thing I will do in weeks one, two, three, or four. I always check before I recruit someone. Here you have two options, the quick call, I only do this early on. You can go all the way to 60 minutes. You can also offer a scholarship from here, which will give you 15 more minutes. Very rarely do I use the quick call, though. Let's go in and select call this recruit. Now I'm playing with Georgia, so throughout my categories, I'm pretty good. A's, A pluses, 1B. Let's quickly explain the screen. In the bottom left corner, you'll see how much time you have remaining to recruit during that week. Directly above is a meter titled Today's Call. That's a meter that you're trying to fill up to have a successful call. In the top left, you'll see the smiley face icon inside the cell phone. You're trying to keep that little guy smiling throughout the call. Although if you keep the smile going too long, the recruit might become unhappy, the icon will frown, and the recruit might hang up on you. Okay, let's start our call. I'm going to pitch, let's see, how about television exposure? As you can see, the meter to the left, plus seven, it did okay, and it unlocked a high. So instead of swaying, I'm going to toggle right to hard sell, and I'm going to keep this guy smiling. Plus 18, plus 18, and the call just continues to go, the meter filling up to the left. Some people at this point like to move on. You can move to other categories later on. Right now, I'm trying to have a good first call, so I'm going to continue to hard sell. Plus 16, plus 18. If you pay attention to the cell phone, the big smile has gone away. So be careful. You do not want this recruit to frown. Now, here's a little nugget for you. To try to get that smile back, I will back out, and now I will offer him a scholarship to try to get that big smile back before I hang up the call. This time, it didn't work, but at least he's still smiling. I got a full call, and I can end this knowing I had a good week with Taylor Cook. Now let's do another with Georgia. See if we can find someone that we're number one on. All right, this defensive tackle, number one on his board. So let's try to tackle this guy. He's a four-star recruit. Again, very rarely will I hard sell, but I can definitely find pitch. Also, a huge difference this year, the meter to the left can actually tell you if he likes what you're pitching very early. See, plus one, how about pro potential? Ooh, very low. See the icon in the top left corner, how it went sour real fast? I'm going to back out and offer him a scholarship to see if I can get that smile back. Maybe it'll give me more time to recruit. There you go. See the smile in the top left corner? I extended the call. I offered him a scholarship. I might actually be able to continue pitching him something now. At this point, it's kind of risky. You got the smile back. You can probably get out, but you haven't spent a whole lot of time with him. So if it's me, I'm going to try one more thing here. So let's try championship contender. This time... Average. Oh, and he's starting to frown. This defensive tackle is being real tough on me. To be honest, it's just because I've guessed wrong. Championship contender, average. Athletic facilities, low. Pro potential, very low. Now, I don't recommend what I'm about to do, but I'm going to try one more. I'm trying to get this smile back. Whoa, there you go. I unlocked a very high, and now we might be able to hard sell this and bring the smile back. There it is, plus 18, plus 18. That's what it's all about. It's a lot of guessing. But now I have it. I've got a full call, a smile, and I can end this having a successful call with Corey Graves. One recruiting call that didn't start out so well. All right, let's do one more with Georgia. Let's find a wide receiver here. All right, there he is. Five-star recruit, Donnie Lane. I am middle of the road with this guy. He's got big hitters like Ohio State and Texas. Georgia, I'm right in the middle. All right, with this wide receiver, let's go after pro potential. Plus one, plus one, very low. Not a good selection. How about television exposure for Donnie Lane? There it is, most. You just hit it. It gave you a plus seven, big smile, and now this is where you want to be. You hard sell him one more time, plus 18. You know what? I'm going to keep going. Hard sell it again. Plus 18, plus 18, plus 18. Look at this. This is where you hit the jackpot. Now, you can still pitch and earn points after the meter's full, but if you have the smile and a full meter, you've already received the bonus for that week. Now you could offer him a scholarship to try to get that full smile back. But I actually sometimes will save that offer scholarship just in case the week two call doesn't go quite as well. And I can use that offer scholarship to get the smile back then. So for Donnie Lane, it's all over. We'll talk to you next week.
All right, so that's it for Georgia. Let's try another school. Let's go with Marshall, the Thundering Herd. Let's go into the recruiting board. Number one on my board is a two-star player. Number two is a two-star player. So quickly, you're starting to see there's a huge difference in the level of talent. Now, here's a three-star player, a good selection for Marshall. Let's move this recruit to number one on your board. If you aren't aware, they do actually know where they're at on your board, and that will give you a bonus every week if the recruit is number one on your board. So let's do that now. We are seventh on this guy's board. He's got some big schools on there. But remember, you can go after this guy hard because the schools at the top of his list probably aren't worried about him right now. They're going after five-star and four-star guys. So early on in the season, sneak in and go after this guy and grab as many good three-star recruits if you're a Marshall or a North Texas. Now here it's a little tougher when you get into the categories because you're having to pitch C pluses and B pluses. Obviously, we're going to start with the B categories first and then come to the Cs. So we'll start with proximity to home and hope that we get lucky. And it looks good. Meter says plus four, plus four, a smile in the top left corner. I unlocked an above average. For a school like Marshall, you get an above average that you can work with. Let's try to sway this guy. This is a very risky move, but if you do, it's a huge payoff. So let's select it one more time. Plus two. Plus 42. There it is. That is how you use the sway. You got a high interest now in proximity to home. That is a huge bump for you. Now you can hit it one more time. Plus 15. Plus 16. See, this is a fantastic call. I'm going to end it before he starts frowning. I'm going to offer a scholarship. And bam, there you go. A fantastic call for a school like Marshall. And now we're going to jump ahead to week two and see how we did with that cornerback we were just talking to. All right, week two, we had a great first call with Mr. Alton Slaughter. All right, we'll go inside, and let's see how the first week did. There it is. Look at that. Ohio State and Penn State both dropped down. Marshall is now number two. A fantastic first week, and that is how you recruit with a team like Marshall. I hope that helped a little bit. As always, feel free to leave your comments below the video if you have your own recruiting tips. I'm Eric Gray. We'll see you next time.